Alright, this is the second vi uh second vi vi video I make about the this topic which which is relative velocity but related to the vector one. Alright, so yeah, this is the second question. So yeah, if you haven't watched the first video, make sure you, you go to watch that one first because yeah, in this one I I will skip a lot of detail because I already mentioned in the first video. So yeah, let's go into these questions. So in these questions uh, 1, 0 is a unit vector due east and 0, 1 is a unit vector due north. Alright, in this question, because I I cannot time in the unit, uh, I cannot time in the vector, uh, column vector form. So basically the 1, 0, I mean in the exam paper, you will see something like this. It's actually right, 1, 0. Alright, so the question trying to tell you is 1, 0 means actually this one is go east for 1 units. Right, so that's mean go one unit to east. Right, and then the question tells you zero one. That's mean this one is go one unit to the north. All right. Of course, if you see negative one, you know it's one unit to the south. And this one you see negative one, you you know it's one unit to the to the west. All right. So this is some basic common knowledge. All right. So and the question says at twelve hundred twelve hundreds. Uh means 12 p.m. a coast guard at at the point O O here means origins means if you have the if you have the what uh catastrophe plan O's that means coordinate is zero zero means this O right and then this one will be this one will be east and, and this one will be north right something like this right so at 12 p.m. a coast guard at at the point O, observe a sh a ship with the position vector uh twelve uh sixteen twelve km relative to O. That means the ship actually at this position vector. Okay, this one is the position vector of ship. So that means sixteen means sixteen unit here, and twelve means something like this. So, so yeah, I would say it's sixteen. And 12 yeah somewhere here me here 16 unit here will be 12 unit so here will be the position of the ship so this is position vector because I say position vector always need to re re uh, relative to the uh, origin all right so yeah this is a position means 12 12 to the east and uh, 16 to the east and 12 to the north all right so this is a position vector of the ships so the questions are not uh, finished, and this ship is moving at a sta at a steady speed of ten km per hour on the bearing of three hundred thirty. So the ship basically is moving on the bearing. Uh, three hundred thirty is around here. Three hundred thirty. So in this position, maybe here here be thirty degree. So because one circle is three hundred sixty minus thirty, you got three hundred thirty. So that's me here is three hundred thirty. So moving in this direction. Alright, then yeah, the speed is ten. So it'll be ten km per hour. Okay, this is some basic information we have. Alright, then okay. The first question actually I, I mean the first part the question asks you to find the values of P such that uh, negative 5 p cam per hour represents the velocity of the ships all right so yeah so the question asks you to find the values of p if negative 5 p is the velocity is the velocities of the ships so what you need to understand is if i make the velocities i mean in the column vector form if i if i make the velocities uh, into the uh, means something like magnitudes of the velocity means I modulus the velocity actually is equal to speed the only difference between speed and velocity is the velocity is with, with the directions alright so that means what if I want to find the magnitudes of the velocity in magnitudes we know is square root of a square plus b square which is negative 5 square plus p square is equals to speed speed which is 10 
And you just need to understand this one, then you can e easily got the answer for first part. So 25 plus p square will equals to oh this is 10 square. Eh? Is it 10 square? Oh no no no. 10 square is the next step because I moved the square root to the other side. So here will be 10 square. So if square root move to the other side, it's just square. So p square equals to 100 minus 25 which is 75. Then I can easily get my value of p is square root 75. And you use calculator, it will tell you 8.66. So I think this is just two mark questions. Yeah, it's very simple. But then just you will need to understand that uh, yeah, it's 8.66. Yeah, you just need to understand that. Yeah, you, whenever you want to find the speed, mean you just do the uh, magnitudes of the veracity. Okay, it's equal to speed. Quite simple. Okay, so yeah, since I got the p value I write down. And then the, the question is, uh, the second part, write down in terms of t, the position vector of the ships. And relative to OT hour after uh, 12 p.m. So basically, the question asks you to write the position vector in terms of t means what? Means, after 12 p.m., like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., what is the position vector? But then the question one in terms of t, means they will ask you to write down some some sort of like for, formula. Means, means when t is changing, then you can get the correct position vector. Alright, this is the basic idea. So, yeah. So I'm going to e erase this thing first. Okay, so since the part one, you know, I erase it also. Okay, then I will write down my part one. My answer P is 8.66. We are going to use it later. Now part two. Alright, so in order to write down a Poisson vector, in the first video, actually, I mentioned, you know, do the Poisson vector. Okay, first, you of course, you have to know the, the original position vector. When I say original pos position vector means what? means the position vector before the particle start to move yeah means where is exactly the position of the particle all right then with the with the uh, new position vector okay new position vector the, the new position vector actually is formed by uh, veracity multiple with time all right new position vector actually a form by veracity multiple of time. If you want to know this one is one, so yeah, just refer to the first video. I actually explained about that. Alright, so okay, original position vector means uh okay, the ship at the 12 p.m. itself, at the 12 p.m. itself, the sh the ship actually have the position vector as 1612. Means the original position of the ship is 1612. Plus the new position vector is the vector multiple with time time so we have the vector just now which is negative 5 and 8.66 and then time we do not have because the question doesn't give you a time in fact the question actually asks you to write in terms of t so you just multiply the time yeah so this this one yeah you can leave your answer like this or you want to join them together because you know top is ba basically is due east the bottom is due north right is i and j something like this so this one is 16 minus 5 t this one will be 12 plus 8.66t yeah i will prefer leave my answer in this pattern because it's easier for me to solve in uh in the future all right so so okay yeah that's all for part two part three the question asks you to find the time when the ship is due north of o okay so in this part in this part yeah you will need to understand what's the meaning for due north Alright, when I say the particle is due north, the column vector basically is going to be like this. Maybe 0, 20. This one means like due north 20 units. Or, or can be 0, negative 10. This one means due sub. Uh, the question says due, due north. Uh, we, I just don't give the example of due north, due south. Alright, so yeah, or something like 0, 75. That means the particle due north 75 units. Okay, this is the meaning of do not. So you will find something in common over here is, is that uh, the, uh, I mean the first value on the top here is zero. That means the due east and due west value is zero. 
So this is the very important information when you see something like due north. So due north, you have to understand is, yeah, the east west value. I I'm not sure what should I call for this one. Yeah, yeah. You just need to un understand this value will become the zero. Alright, so yeah, so therefore, if I understand about this one, I can easily get my time because they ask about shift, right? So you just got the formula of it. So due north, that means this one will be zero, will equal to zero. Okay, if the questions change a bit, the question say the particle is due east or due west. Okay, if the question say the particle is going to due east, so you know. This one will actually will equal to zero. Okay? So yeah, you just need to understand this one. So in this this case very easy. 16. Oops. 16 minus 5t equals to zero. So 5t equals to 16. So t equals to 3.2. Right? It's equal to 3.2. So this one is our. But then the question asks you to find the time because the particle actually depart at 12 p.m. So after 3.2 hour, what's the time? So the time will be, of course you have to change the 3.2 into your hour as minutes because this is something, some sort of international time. So yeah, so that you just do 0 0.2 multiple 60, then you can, yeah, you can easily get the minutes, which is 12 minutes. All right, so this one basically is three hour, 12 minutes. All right, this is hour, <laughs> okay, 12 minutes. So. Yeah, so one two zero zero. I go to plus three one two. So my time will be one five one two. All right. Of course, in the exam you don't write like this. I just show you how actually I get the time. Okay, you just do the you're working somewhere else. All right. So then we move on to the last part. The last part, the particle. Uh, the last part. The, the question actually asks find the distance of the ship from O at this time. Mean. When t equals to 3.2, what is the position vector? So it's very easy. You just substitute the t into this part. Uh, no, the question not not asking about position vector. The question asks about the distance at this time. At this time means the means means what? So when the particle is due north, okay, just let me write the part four. When the particle is due north, this one this one will be zero. So this one will be 12 plus 8.66. At this time means the time will be 3.2. So the question actually asks uh, ask about the distance for this one. So if you understand about this one, okay, so just let me solve out this column vector first. So it's 12 plus 8.66 times 3.2. So basically I will get zero and 39.712 712 means what if you if you get the column vector look like this you understand basically the particle is from the origin and then the particle actually move toward the north direction 39.712 unit that means this one is actually the distance Alright, so yeah, this one because whenever due north, yeah, you you do do not need to do something like magnitudes of uh position vector in order to get a distance. Because if the question in the column vector means if this is not the zero, let's say this is five, then you will need to do something like square root of a square plus b square in order to get the distance. But then because in this case, of course you you, you can do this one, you will get the same result. This is zero square plus 39.712 square equals the distance. You always can apply this formula. And zero square is zero. And square and square root I can cut. So at the end, I still get 39.712. So therefore, the distance is actually uh, 39.712 cam. Right. Of course, you can leave like Thirty seven, uh, thirty nine point seven cam. I think it should be fine. Three, three significant figures. All right, but then I love more decimal. Yeah, this question basically is quite simple. Just, just depend like how much you can understand about this question. Yeah, so I think the deal north may maybe is something new to the student, and the question also also asks you to find the 
distant. So whenever you see distant, you just remember this one basically mean uh, magnitudes of position vector. Alright, so if you see the speed, speed, you just need to understand speed. Where is the speed just now? Yeah, speed basically mean, yeah, speed is basically mean uh, magnitudes of the velocity. Alright, so yeah, I hope this video will make you understand better about this topic. I think I will make one or two, two more video about this one. So I just want to make sure you can fully understand about this topic. Anyways, thanks for watching.